Well, one thing I can tell you is that women experience pain very differently from one another. Um, some women find the labor experience uh, to be not much of a problem at all, and then some women find it to be intolerable. So you have several choices, and really the choice for you during labor is it's really up to you and whatever you decide. Uh, a couple of different choices. Uh, the first was what I would call sort of your traditional holistic uh, techniques. And this would be things like breathing exercises, massage, what we think of as uh, your traditional uh, Lamaze type uh, approach. Um, the second would be uh, narcotics, more IV medications that your obstetrician would order, things uh, Stadol, uh, Demerol, morphine. And these are given more towards the early stages of labor, but will help with the labor pains uh, in those stages. And then the third uh, option is uh, what we call epidural anesthesia, or the placement of an epidural to help you with labor pains. Well, epidural analgesia is a way to control pain. So epidurals are used in all types of surgery, sometimes for surgery, sometimes for post-operative pain. And one of the most popular places that we use epidurals are in labor and delivery to help control labor pains. So um, it's a way that we use local anesthetic to bathe the nerve uh, roots as they exit the spinal cord and go out to the periphery of the body. So we we place this in the area of the body that um, goes to the uterus and, and all the areas that hurt uh, during labor. Um, it's, a, it's a very safe technique. It's been used for a long time since the 1960s and it's uh, very effective, very popular and probably 70% of women today uh, choose epidural analgesia for their labor. Well, contrary to what used to be thought that epidurals would slow your labor, they actually will not. So epidural will not slow down the dilation of the cervix and will not increase your chances of having to have a C-section. So that's good news. Um, an epidural will actually help you um, by controlling some of the uh, normal body's physiologic responses to pain. So your body responds to pain by releasing stress hormones and some of those hormones do things like increase the rate of your breathing, increase your heart rate and some of those things can affect the blood flow to the uterus so by controlling that, by controlling your pain and actually helping you to relax uh, it ensures good blood flow to your uterus and to the baby and provides a good positive environment for that and um, actually allows the uterus to contract sometimes more quickly and sometimes we find that the, the labor progresses more rapidly once the uh, patient's able to relax and, and, and is pain-free. Uh, yeah, the short answer is yes, an epidural is very safe for your baby and one of the reasons is because we're giving medications in very small doses and it's going into the epidural space rather than an IV medication going into the IV or in the veins. So very, very little of it ever reaches the baby, if at all. So that's one of the main reasons it's safe. Uh, and then the fact that as we control uh, your pain and allow you to relax, uh, we provide you know, good blood flow to the uterus and, and provide a good, uh, safe environment for the baby in, that, in the uterus. Well, your epidural can actually be placed anytime you want. So traditionally, people would wait until they were about four centimeters dilated. But we found that since the epidurals don't really affect the course of your labor, as far as slowing it down, it can put it, be put in any time. So um, if you're hurting and you want it, we'll do it. Well, the, the anesthesiologist will place you in a sitting position and he'll clean your back with an antiseptic solution so that everything's very sterile and then he will numb a little spot on your skin and then through that numb spot they'll place the epidural needle. Um, once the epidural needle is in the epidural space they'll thread a little catheter which is the size of a fishing line, very small, and then the needle will be withdrawn and the catheter will be left in and the medication will be dosed through that catheter. And then once you're dosed we'll hook a pump up to that catheter so that we will continue to give you medicine for as long as you need it, as long as your labor continues. Um, that medication will keep you numb and keep your labor pains under control. Then one of the advantages of having the epidural in place is 
if you should have to have a C-section for any reason, we can always dose it up and use the epidural for the C-section, which is a good thing.